Okay, so the really funny part about that whole thing... Okay, turns out it wasn't even a dog. The gypsy didn't even sell me a dog. It was a fox. It was rabbit. Like, every cat in my neighborhood had to get euthanized. What, 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 what? I'm sorry? Oh, yes, hello, everyone, and welcome back. My name is Philbert Bumblebottom, and this is This Month in Pseudoscience. Uh, you may have noticed that we did not, in fact, have a This Month in Pseudoscience for December. And that's because we here at the studio simply decided not to do it. First up this month, we have Facebook is running anti-vax ads despite its ban on vaccine misinformation. This comes to us from BuzzFeed News and Carolyn Haskins. Uh, a guide to protest this whooping cough. Now, what's fascinating about this is this is put out by a group known as Earthly. Mm. Now, our investigative reporters have found that Earthly is a side project by none other than Cat Kate TAJ. Hang on. Kate TJ, also known as Modern Alternative Mama. Now, for those unaware, this channel has previously covered Modern Alternative Mama uh, a very long time ago. Um, in fact, do we uh do we have that clip? Oh my God, she almost turned me into a hot dog! No! <laughs> no, that wasn't the right clip. No, 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 no. no. This. The modern alternative, the one with the broken arm. So from March 5th of this year, modern alternative mama reports that her child has a severely wounded arm, won't crawl on it, can kind of play, but is obviously in some sort of distress. Two days later, she goes and takes him to a chiropractor who says, oh, well, his arm is totally fine. Of course, his arm is totally fine. I'm a chiropractor. You can trust me. And then a week a week that this child has had to go with a broken arm. Finally, he receives actual medical attention. Now, the ad that's being run by Earthly is effectively for a pamphlet, and it's talking about pertussis, a.k.a. the whooping cough. However, it is also full of incredible amounts of anti-vaccine nonsense. Sadly, a Facebook spokesperson told BuzzFeed News that the ads represented no violation of its policies. As of today, these ads are still running on both Facebook and Instagram. After publication of this article, Facebook provided the following comment. Facebook does not have a policy that bans advertising on the basis that it expresses opposition to vaccines, a Facebook spokesperson said. Our policy is to ban ads containing vaccine misinformation. Now, it's in this reporter's opinion that those two things are usually pretty much the same thing. Uh, however, we will do continuing coverage of uh, Modern Alternative Mama and what she's been up to since the last time this channel dealt with her in the future in its own special. Moving on, next we have something that's coming to us from the Netherlands. Now, this is Miss Natural. She's based in the Netherlands, and she is yet another example of a uh, propagandist wingnut. And this is very troubling. Wanted 100 upcoming mothers for the new green vaccine. Now, just as, as a disclaimer, uh, this is translated from through Google Translate. Are you pregnant and calculated before 1 August 2020? Then we are looking for you, because in this important period, a lot is changing in your life. You have to make many big decisions, and these are usually not only for you, but also for your baby. Consider, for example, vaccination. Are you doing this or not? Do not make this choice from fear or ignorance. Injecting foreign poisonous substances into the bloodstream is repulsive. In addition, vaccination does not help at all in many cases, and therefore appears to be useless against the vaccinated disease. The Dutch government does not come up with proven arguments that all vaccines are safe. Now, okay, this just sounds like anti-vaccination crankery, but here's the thing. What they're doing here, aside from, you know, being fear-mongering with uh, avoid using chemical sugars, coffee, saturated fats, etc., 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 and don't vaccinate, Juice devised a campaign to motivate 100 expectant mothers to take good care of themselves and their baby in a natural way in order to consciously choose not to take a vaccination during pregnancy, hereby reward these mothers with a vacuum blend of your choice worth 400 euro. That's right. If you're willing to put your newborn baby at risk by not vaccinating, you could get an overpriced blender. That's... 
That's amazing. Now, we here in the newsroom, we don't really have any access to who one would need to talk to address this with the whole uh, Dutch government, but big yikes, guys. Big yikes. And last but not least, tonight we have... I, whatever this is. The nervous system. And there's a there's always a huge dissipation of energy and a feeling of relief, release, freedom. <laughs> Expression of emotion may happen when the system moves, when energy that was stored or bound up in the muscles begins to dissipate. Was 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 he in her butt? To express and allow energy that's been bound in our bodies to move through. This woman is like a, an incredible dancer, actress, um, just a human being, and she has practiced just allowing things to move through. But even with that, things get bound up. Uh, Most people wouldn't. In this, I think he was in her Davos, butt. In this environment, wouldn't make that sound. So you know what? They would have physical pain, tension building up in the body. So we've just made it easier for that energy to be liberated. And if you just suspend the story, suspend the conditioning, the body will start... The woman getting an exorcism performed on her butthole is uh, Julianne Hogue, who I believe got famous for Dancing with the Stars. Now, what could have possibly compelled her to be in Davos, Switzerland with a chiropractor, which we'll look at him in just a second... And publicly allow herself to have an anal orgasm in front of a bunch of cameras, I have yet to find a good answer for. I, hmm. Hmm. Anyway, this is John Amaral. John Amaral is a somatic energy practitioner, author, educator, and founder of the Energy Flow Formula, a somatic energy healing practice. Originally trained as a chiropractor, John developed the formula over 25 years of working with thousands of people from more than 50 countries. His clients include A-list celebrities, entrepreneurs, athletes, influencers, and thought leaders. John uses the unique principles of the energy flow formula to help his clients heal physical injuries, reduce stress, anxiety, depression, and reach and sustain new levels of energy, clarity, and fulfillment so they can feel and live better. Uh, I would like to point out, of course, you can definitely tell when somebody is not a cult leader if they describe themselves as, as, a, as a thought leader. Thought leader is totally the least culty term anybody has ever used. However, despite this uh, is, is uh, quite a uh, <clears throat> self filating bio, this is the most important part here. Most importantly, John appeared in the Goop Labs Netflix series with Gwyneth Paltrow. He also been featured a number of podcasts, including blah, blah, blah. Goop Labs Netflix series. Now, that in and of itself is a whole nother story. But before this channel dives into the very problematic issue of having Goop in any way promoted and putting its stuff out there into the mainstream like Netflix... There's another connection between Goop and Juliana Hogue. Julianne Hogue relives childhood trauma 20 years later through radical therapy in the Goop Lab. Uh, again, I, I have to express how very strange it is that people are looking for ways in which to better their lives, and, and they, they trust in something called the Goop Lab that is owned and operated by somebody who doesn't even understand how some of their therapies work. They sting you with a bee. The bee sting has all these amazing healing properties. Don't bees die when they sting someone? Oh. Yeah, they do. Do they? <laughs> yeah. Oh, damn. Yeah. The Goop Lab is chock full of some major WTF moments, but it also features instances of self-reflection. One such moment comes in the fifth episode of the series and features Julianne Hogue. 31, recalling the trauma of her childhood in front of the Goop cameras. During the episode, which dropped on Netflix on January 24th, Julianne joins a group of Goop staffers experiencing a session of energy therapy. The practice is led by John Amaral. There was this one moment last year when John was actually working around my foot and I got angry, but it wasn't due to an injury or tightness the former Dancing with the Stars professional was experiencing, but an ingrained traumatic memory from her childhood. 
I just had this deep sadness. It was actually a memory that I had, and it was connected to a trauma that happened to me when I was 10 that I haven't even thought about for 20 years. She went on. Then Julianne bravely revisited these emotions and candidly discussed her childhood. At 10 years old, my parents went through a pretty aggressive divorce, and I lived with my dance coaches, Julianne shared of her time living in London. It was not the best living situation, and so I had this, like, really just pissed off anger literally attached in my foot. Through the therapy sessions Julianne continued to attend, she was able to confront and transition those emotions as she moved forward with her life. This method, energy experience, works incredibly well for me because it helps me experience and go back to things and be able to shift them. As the article goes on, it continues to explain how she feels she had a very traumatic childhood. Now, this is understandable that somebody might need to go through some sort of therapy and wish to process moments of grief and traumatic experiences. However, there is something kind of interesting at work, especially when it is structured in the form of, well, I mean, let's just be honest, it looks like a butthole exorcism. Freedom. Uh expression of emotion may happen when the system moves. But even more concerning is that effectively this is a giant commercial for the services of this man, who, by his own bio on his own website, has no credentials in therapy. In fact, as we look here on the page, he's a chiropractor and a energy practitioner. Whatever the hell that's supposed to mean, which, spoiler alert, doesn't mean anything. Just just so we're all clear. At this point, dear viewer, it might be very, very disturbing to find out that this is the practices of Goop. However, I will remind you that this is the same place that sells magic stickers that are supposed to affect your energy healing, uh, eggs that you put in your hoo-ha, and a solid gold marital aid. Now, if you have any further tips, anytime we're going to do a This Month in Pseudoscience, be sure to hit us up at various social media listed down below, and we will see you next time. No, I didn't get rid of the fox. No, I still have it. Well, look, as long as I don't have to walk through my front yard and I just keep it there, I don't have to worry about Jehovah's Witnesses. I like to think the problem just takes care of itself. Yeah.